بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ایز وی ڈسکسڈ ان دا پریویس لیکچر دیٹ وی ول ڈسکس دا اوور ویو آف دا پوائنٹس وچ ول بی الیبوریٹیڈ ان دا اپ کمنگ لیکچرس ان ڈیٹیل دا اوور ویو آف دا پوائنٹس یا دا پیرامیٹرس آر ایز ڈسکسڈ بلو the population trends the population land ratios the crop yields the yield from livestock the water resources the human factors the fertilizers the pesticides the farm machinery the transportation the storage and packaging other factors if any and the current status the population trends if simply discussed is not uniform throughout the world somewhere it is increasing at higher rate somewhere it is increasing at lower rate and somewhere the population is decreasing as has been seen in some countries of the world in the population land ratio where the population is increasing the land is decreasing the fertile land is brought under some uh, construction industrialization or some other buildings some residential building some apartments or some uh, plaza etc the crop yield is also increasing in some cases while due to the weather conditions it is decreasing the yield from livestock as it is clear that the farmers the peasants who are cultivating the lands will have some um, livestock for domestic purposes for the farming and to gain some wool milk meat or some other resources from it such as um, hens poultry for eggs and uh, the um, buffalo cow etc for milk and meat and for farming the water is basically the basic necessity of life it is provided and arranged to irrigate the fields to grow the crops and to grow the crops in sufficient amount to meet the need the farm machinery the farm machinery is basically the machinery which is used to replace the human resource during its peak season when it is needed in higher amounts by almost all the farmers because all the crops are ripening at the same stage are harvested and sown at the same stage and the there is a huge need for the farmers for the labor to arrange it so for this purpose the farm machinery is used the pesticides are applied to control the insects pests etc the fertilizers are basically in different forms and are applied to increase the yield the transportation the transportation is basically to transport the yield from the field to the industry or to the storage area and to the market for this purpose if we say some other purposes or some other uh, reasons that can include the uh, roads which can be used for the transportation by the vehicles storage and packaging it is stored in the storage areas and is supplied it is packed in the packaging material it is stored in the storage areas and then supplied to the farmers to the markets when needed some other factors can include the uh, social uh, culture Uh, society culture of the people um, whether it is acceptable over there or not 
and whether it is according to the culture and social values and norms of the people or not and if some other issues are related that will also be discussed and the current status that how many food is required how much food is required and how much food is grown throughout the world will also be discussed in detail in the upcoming lectures i hope that these points will make your mind about the points which we will discuss in the upcoming lecture i hope that these points will be elaborated in the upcoming lectures and this will make your mind about the issues related to the global food problems and how it can be solved and what is the current status at which status we are here now and how we will solve this problem and what parameters should be adopted by the governments the industrial sectors and by the citizens of the world i request you people to suggest something good to improve the channel to improve the lectures